After the microscope, the dangerous characteristics of the ash particles become clear. The combination of heat and cooling ice water turns magma into a powdery mixture of extremely sharp glass-like particles. With structures like these, it's easy to understand the abrasive power of the particles. Running into a wall of ash is like being sandblasted. And that's what makes volcanic ash so dangerous to aviation. Sucked into the jet engine of an aeroplane, these particles create havoc. An engine like this combusts five tons of air every second. The air is transported between the blades of the turbine and the ensuing jet stream is what propels the aeroplane forward. In the hot engine, the particles from the eruption melt into a glass-like glaze that coats many of the engine's components, rendering sensors, fuel nozzles and air filters useless. History shows this creates a potentially deadly situation. In 1982, British Airways Flight 9 en route to Australia unwittingly passes through the ash cloud from a volcanic eruption in Indonesia. Through the window, passengers see flames from the engines and an eerie glow all around the aeroplane. Inside the cabin, what looks like smoke fills the air. The plane drops like a stone from the sky with a total loss of power. A disaster is looming. Suddenly, at a much lower altitude, all the engines restart successfully and the crew brings all passengers to safety after a miraculous recovery and landing. Investigators studying the plane and its engines are shocked at the damage. The plane's exterior and engine fan blades are badly scored and the inside of the engine is covered in thick layers of sticky dust and even rocks formed from the melting ash. Examination of the engines reveals that only an amazing combination of luck and natural circumstances saved this flight from disaster. <laughs>